you're one of the few people I believe because you've always put your money where your mouth is. And this is why I think you're the godfather of grunge. You're with the Buffalo Springfield. Wasn't it those guys who said, hey, let's go on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson? And you say to them, fuck you. We're not going on that show. It's too mainstream. Fuck you. I'm not doing it. Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, one of the most successful albums, Deja Vu. You say to yourself, fuck that. I want to go do my solo thing. Spotify has a uh, podcast where they're putting out information about a vaccine. You are on Spotify. You make a lot of money off of Spotify because your music is one of the most streamed artists of all time. You say, wait a second, Spotify, do not put shows on that put out false information about the COVID vaccine. But you didn't stop there. You took your music off of Spotify. Howard, I woke up one morning and somebody, I heard somebody saying there was some scientists were saying something about COVID or some doctors. And, and uh, they were saying something about COVID and how many people were dying in the hospitals and, and, and misinformation. And you see all the nurses and everything. And these people are with these people who are dying. I mean, they're, this is their life. They're, they're, that's what they do. They try to save people. So these people were distressed by the fact that Spotify w was doing this uh, misinformation with, with some show they had. And I, I listened to it and I said, and, and they were saying he purposely is saying this stuff that he knows isn't true about COVID and people are dying, you know, and yeah. I, I just, I, I just called up my management and said, uh, we're, we're out of there, you know, get me off and, uh, wow. and we'll be fine. But they were a little shocky because they all know the numbers and everything, but I don't know, who cares? You know, who cares? I, I, you know, I don't. Neil, I, I, that is such integrity. What is the calculation? How much money did you turn down? How many millions I, of dollars? I don't know. You didn't care. You didn't care. I don't, yeah. I knew I was going to do fine. Were you shocked that more musicians, not, not that they didn't agree with you, but they didn't step up and join your boycott? No, nah, I, I wasn't surprised because a lot of people don't look at it like I look at it and their point of view is different about it. Uh, I don't know why, but the way I look at it, I, that just turned me off and I made an instant decision. I didn't think about it at all. I said, just take my music off. We don't need it. I've got it, all these other places and, and it sounds better at the other places. What, why would I want to keep it on Spotify when it sounds like, uh, you know, a pixelated movie? But wasn't it more than that, Neil? <laughs> wasn't it the idea that, uh, Hey, you can either have Neil Young, or you can have fake information going out about the vaccine. That's the way you well, put I, it. I, I told him, I said, you can have that guy or you can have me, you know, take your choice. So they chose to have that guy because they're making millions of dollars off of him and paying him. They've just given him a whole bunch of money and the whole thing. And, and, uh, that I would just eventually roll over and be back. And you haven't been, I'm never going back there or anywhere else like it. I don't have to, I don't want to.